Everybody and welcome to the Drifter Network. On today's episode, we will be hiking to the top of Mount Allen in Kananaskis, Alberta. Let's go. So this hike starts off innocent enough, a little bit of casual bushwhacking, but not to worry, this trail is very well marked. It's actually the highest maintained trail in the Canadian Rockies, but this doesn't make it easy by any means. After beating your way through the trees, you'll arrive to some beautiful fields full of wildflowers and stunning views of the surrounding mountains. From here on, the rest of the hike is pretty exposed, so keep this in mind if the weather looks iffy. Oh, just taking a breather here, folks. Um, you can see Nikiska Ski Resort down here. I've never actually skied there. Um, we're on our way up, I think we're this might even be the beginning of Centennial Ridge once we get up here. You can see it's not really difficult scramble-wise, but it's just very steep, steep grass, and it uh, just it wears you down. But uh, unreal hike, love the wildflowers. Keep trucking. Alrighty, folks, we got a landmark here. I was just talking to a guy, you can scramble up the rocks, or take the traverse. I'm gonna take the traverse today, and uh, yeah, keep trucking to the summit. Oh, we're coming into a beautiful rock garden here. There's always a rock garden, but they vary, you know, the species of rocks. These ones are big, great big lunkers. Pretty easy to navigate through. Uh, they got some great color to them. Uh, yeah, it's a nice garden, very well maintained. We've got some purple flowers. Um, low, low maintenance, this garden. Uh, exactly the kind of garden that everybody wants. Awesome panoramic views across here. Still some decent snow in these mountains. This one right here is pretty ripping. And uh, this should be Mount Allen here. And it's got a little twin peak. Don't know what that one's called, but uh, that's where we're going up into the clouds. As we near the summit, we arrive to an amazing colony of hoary marmots. Marmots are the largest of the North American ground squirrel family. These hoary marmots can grow to be over 12 kilograms. They spend 80% of their time underground and are only active for about four months a year. These creatures are often nicknamed whistlers due to the whistling sound they make to alert the others of predators. You may have heard of the famous ski resort Whistler in Whistler, BC. Well, you've got marmots to thank for that one. It used to be called London Mountain but they weren't digging the rainy London vibes, so they changed the mountain's name to Whistler and the whole town. My last fun fact about marmots is that the proper collective noun for a group of marmots is called a madness. So that's all I got, enjoy the madness. Not long after Marmotville, we arrived to the summit of Mount Allen at 2,663 meters. We're here live on the summit of Mount Allen. Uh, beautiful spot, classic 360 views. You can see Canmore down that way. Um, tons of marmots up here, great big giant marmots. I've never seen ones this big. Uh, yeah, hardly any wind up here. Um, wasn't that difficult of a hike, you know? Like it, it was if you're out of shape, but as far as technical sketchy parts, it really wasn't sketchy at all. So uh, nice hike to do in the area. Yeah, very enjoyable. Um, again, wasn't like a huge uh, 
sketchy adrenaline you know it's not that kind of hike but uh hey it's a beautiful view up here and perfect day for it after grabbing a quick snack it was time to head back down the mountain it was a great hike back down and i practically ran the whole way back to the parking lot thanks to this red bull i slammed on the way down time has come no screwing around right in there feel better for it every time every time and that concludes our mount allen adventure as always thanks for watching i appreciate the support if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel for more outdoor adventures we'll catch you next time peace